exclusive interview with Maxim Chemikowski, the Dancing with Stars performer who narrowly escaped the war in Ukraine. DJ, that must have been something. Well, it was, uh, finally. And, you know, look, he's been a friend of the show for a long time. So it was actually nice to see him back home and safe. We know a lot of people are not. But, yes, he was born in Ukraine. He is a U.S. citizen now, but he was born in Ukraine. He happened to be in Kiev when the war broke out. He managed to flee documented it all while he was getting out of there, documented on social media, denounced Vladimir Putin. He's also calling on the world to help. At the time of war, I realized you do what, what you can, right? This was not me trying to publicize the situation. This was me trying to cry for help. I literally, I was just screaming out, like, look, this is what I just saw. I just want you to see it, whoever you are. He's best known to the world as a ballroom dancer on Dancing with the Stars. But for the last week, Max Shmerkovsky has been stuck in Ukraine as Russian forces closed in. You know me, I, I'm not a social media guy at times of some kind of personal difficulty, and this is definitely not the time where I would normally would be posting anything on social media, but um, I, yes, I'm here, I'm in Kiev, uh, contrary to what I probably should have done. Smirkovsky had been filming a dance show in Kiev and started documenting what he saw happening around him on social media. Here's the reality. In that center of Kiev, right there, honestly, I'm getting really emotional. I want to go back home. Now, home in the U.S., the 42-year-old is opening up about what he saw for the first time. Man, it's good to see your face, brother. Thank you, thank you. Your face looks a little different from what we've been seeing on the... Uh on social media, uh, a little more relief. A bit surreal, to be honest. This is a country, you know, and the country is on the on fire. So, you know, it was very, um, it was very difficult to process for me because it's, you know, we're used to, you know, fly out, do some stuff, experience some things, and always fly back. And here I am, like, I'm unable to fly home. And that, to me, was the biggest sort of like moment of understanding, like, you're in trouble. Shmerkovsky, who was born in Ukraine but immigrated to the U.S. with his family in the 90s, was eventually able to return to the U.S. I'm still in a very much in that fight or flight. I'm a big boy. I know for a fact that I'm going through something mentally. I know for a fact because I start, I get into these cry moments. I'm emotional. You know, I can't control it. I cried on the way from, from the airport. I felt embarrassed. You know, I felt embarrassed the entire ride back because I was the only man on the train amongst all women and, and children. There's a train, five carts, about 130 some people each. There's one cart that's all um, sicker kids and people, so it's not as packed, but all the others are packed. He says before leaving, he was arrested for breaking curfew. They're like, passport, I pull out my American passport. You know, he starts speaking English with me. I was like, I speak Russian. Then I regretted saying that. I thought maybe it was wrong. Anyway, but then the guy next to him goes, oh, that's the judge from Dancing with the Stars. That's Max. I know him. He's from TV. I'm like, he goes, get inside right now. So, Max, you being um, a recognizable face saved you in that moment? Absolutely. Well, I mean, it saved me like, you know, it's not like I was going to get shot. I was going to get probably put somewhere where I can, you know, sit until they figure out who I am and check my identity or whatever it is, right? Like, I would have been fine. But, you know, you, you, it's, but I felt like things got real and all of a sudden I, I, I'm, I don't actually have all of the things needed to feel safe in this place at all. I'm not built for this at all. I'm just realizing that I have no, I'm not in the place where I should be. What was that like when you do get to the train station? What was that scene? What did it look like? Horrible. It was horrible. It's horrible. I realized after we took off, right? I'm not skipping, but after we took off, I realized that all the people that didn't get in have to now sleep in right right there in that train station it's not heated it's just a giant building it's cold there's kids everywhere kids everywhere i'm dying inside because this is still like a you know very emotional stuff for me there's kids everywhere babies everywhere it's a negative t the temperature is there any guilt you even feel for yeah. getting out or i feel guilty out? i feel guilty i feel bad i feel shamed i feel upset and you all, he was in the States. He was here in the U.S. days before he went back. So it was ramping up. The whole world was watching. War was coming. He said, for the folks of Ukraine, we, we, they stay in this heightened 
place of tension with Russia. So until we hear a siren or an explosion, we just think it's, it's the norm. And that's why he actually went back because he didn't think it was going to happen. Wow. It was incredible to hear. Incredible to hear. What a story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.